what's up everyone welcome to my fourth Photoshop tutorial the last time we covered the interface and found our way around Photoshop this time I'm gonna be going in to the specifics of colors so we just touched on this down here a little bit but I'm gonna talk about this a little more this is called the foreground color right here there's teal color and this red color is called the background color now this foreground color whenever you're painting this is the main color you paint with and to switch in between the foreground color and the background color you just use this little toggle menu right here and as you can see, see they switch or if you want to use the default black and white you can click this little black and white square right there now if you double click any of these colors you're taken to something that's called the color picker and the color picker does exactly that as you can see we have a slider right here and we could slide over any of these main colors to select any of the main colors that we want to choose and as you can see as we highlight in the main section we can see the new color that we have chosen right here and the current color that we're replacing right here and anytime you find a color that you want and you want to add it to your swatch all you have to do is click this button add the swatches and you can name it something if you'd like and then click OK and now it's on your swatch panel and this color libraries button right here it takes you to uh, um, some different libraries that are preset in Photoshop with basic colors and their relatives and if you're making a web document then you probably want to use web safe colors colors that you can use and incorporate on your website to do, so to do that click this only web colors and now you have a list of all the colors that you could use on the web or if you already know your specific color you can type it in right here so let's click OK and now we have selected green and let me talk to you about what color mode you're going to be working on if you click on image and highlight mode it gives you all the different color modes here you either want to be in RGB or CMYK these are our main color modes or if you want to make a grayscale image this is how you change it to grayscale and the last thing I want to talk to you about is the color palettes right over here here are all your main swatches and if you added a color then they appear right under the swatches and if you want to be finicky you can adjust your color slightly the red green and blue value and if you ever close this out you can go to window and all of your palettes are right there and the last thing we're going to talk about colors today is again remind you of the eyedropper tool when you select this you can select any color on your image and that color becomes your main foreground color so that's all the time we have for right now if you're not already there you can go to www.thenewboston.com and it will cover everything we went over today thanks